Hello and welcome again. In the previous video, we talked about how Alice encrypted this plain text here that remember that represented the capital letter A. And then he had she had this uh, seven bits that were coming from the key and put it in the stream cipher here, so a sorg. And then this came out here. That was the hyphen. If you remember from last time, that was the hyphen. The ASCII representation of the hyphen or the minus sign. So that was the process of encryption. You put something here in the plain text, you have some bits coming from the key, same number of bits as you have in the plain text, and you get the ciphertext, which is also okay. The uh, seven bits that you had, same number of bits. Now, what was the idea here? So that the whole picture here will be something like this. So you have a plain text, X called the X is plain text, Y is the ciphertext, and S is the bits from the key. Now remember, again, I'm going to say this again, these bits are not the binary representation of the key. Alright, so then, okay, X comes in here, which is the letter A, or the binary representation of the letter A. You saw it here with the this bit. Out comes the ciphertext. It goes through the insecure channel, goes to Bob, but of course Bob has to decrypt it, so he has to use a stream cipher again to do the same thing, so they, they have to know that. And Bob is gonna decrypt the message. So Bob, what Bob received here was this string of character, a string of, uh, here of zeros and ones, or, or this bit here. This is what Bob received of the hyphen. Now he has to decrypt that. So he has to do the process of decryption. Now, the interesting part about this is that the process of encryption and decryption is exactly the same. I don't have to subtract S, I was making the SOAR. There is no such a thing as a minus SOAR. Because uh, what's going to happen here is if I take the ciphertext and I SOAR it again with the bits from the key, I'm going to get back the plain text. So what do I mean by that? I'm going to uh, use this bit, the ones, exactly the same bits that Alice used for encryption. Those bits exactly are going to be the ones that you're gonna use for decryption, exactly the same bits. You don't change anything at all here in this bit. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you um, the, the process now, the process of, of decryption. So Bob receives the message, uh, the cipher text, which is a hyphen or a minus sign, or his binary representation will be this one right here. So the decryption process will go like this. I have to put this cipher text over here. This is gonna be exactly that binary representation of the cipher text. I'm going to feed into this SOAR, I'm going to feed the exactly the same bits, exactly the same bits that were used for, for, for encryption. Okay. These are coming from the key again, and the same string that was used for encryption, exactly the same string. This is a string of zeros and ones. And you do SOAR again. So let me use another color here, so we'll see how that, that works. So, so we're going to start with this one. And this zero, so that will give me one because uh, one so zero is a one. And the next one will be zero and zero. That's a zero. Uh, one and one is a zero again. One and one. That's again a zero. Zero and zero. That's a zero. 1 and 1, that is a 0. And finally, I have 0 and 1. If I sort that, that is a 1. Now, I claim now that as the plain text. Um, do you remember what the plain text was, right? The plain text was the capital letter A. That is actually the binary representation in using ASCII of the capital letter A. Uh, if you don't believe me, you can go ahead and double check that because what happens here is you go, go again and if you want, take the uh, the decimal representation of that and exactly the same thing, same thing we did with the other one. So you have, for example, the number is going to be 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. I have five zeros and one there. Okay. So it's exactly this number here, this number, right? Exactly the same. A 1. Five zeros and a one, a one, 
five zeros and a one. And the, the decimal representation of that is very easy to do. So remember what you do is you're gonna take uh, number by number and these are the coefficients of powers of, of two. So it's gonna be the one, that's the coefficient of two to the zero plus zero times the coefficient of two to the one plus zero times the coefficient of two squared. I'm up to this point here. Okay, it is a bunch of zeros until the la until the very first uh, bit, which is this one, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go a little bit faster here. So it's gonna be plus zero times two cube, plus zero times two to the four, plus <laughs> zero times two to the fifth. How many zeros I have so far there? I need to have five, so I can have one, two, three, four, five. And I'll still have the last one here will be one plus uh, one times two to the six. Okay. And of course, there are a bunch of zeros here, so everything here uh, is zero. This whole thing here will be zero. It'll be all zero. So basically, what I have here is the following thing I have. Uh, 2 to the 6 plus 1, because 1, 1 times 2 to the 0 is 1. So if you look at it, that, it is going to be a 65, okay? 65. And 65 is the ASCII code. So this is the ASCII, ASCII code for the letter A, capital A, I should say, capital A. And that's it. That's the process of decryption. So the process of encryption is exactly the same as the process of decryption using exactly the same number of bits that you use for encryption. So it worked. Now, you might wonder why is it working? Because the thing is, we are doing the SOAR here. And the SOAR. SOAR here. Of this for decryption. And we also do an exactly the same thing with exactly the same numbers. You will expect if you have some sort of like addition for encryption, then the decryption would be subtraction, right? But that's not the case. And that's coming from the properties of, of this of this operator here, uh, this bitwise, bit, bitwise operator. So I'm gonna discuss uh, a, in a more theoretical way in the next video, why the process of encryption decryption is exactly the same, you use exactly the same, the same bit. So I will see you in the next uh, video and I'll explain that, that concept.